So we need to figure it out the inequality that is actually graph. How do we do this? Well, look at your graph and find the x and the y intercept. Here I have the y intercept, which is going to be uh, 0, 2. And here I have the x intercept, and that happens when y is equal to 0, and that is 3, 0. Awesome. Remember, any time I build an equation, I remember that y equals mx plus b. Well, I need to figure out the slope and the y-intercept. Well, how do I do the slope? Remember, on in, when you watch the other videos, I show you that you can do the rise over row method. So look, I went up two and I did, I ran three. So my slope is actually two over three. However, my slope is negative because it's going down. That tells me that this is negative two over three. Awesome. Now, I have y negative 2 over 3x and my y-intercept is actually 2. Beautiful. I have my equation, but look here, this is actually an inequality. Let's remember some rules. When I have greater than or equal or less than or equal, my line is going to be solid. When I have greater or less than, the line is actually dotted. In this case, I have a solid line. Moreover, remember, when it's greater or equals, I'm going to shade above the line. When it's less or equal, I'm going to shade below the line. In this case, I'm actually shading above the line. So this has to be y is greater or equals than negative 2 over 3x plus 2. I see my answers and I figured out that this is actually the slope intercept form, but my answers are in general form. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply everything by 3. That's the first step to get rid of the 3. And look what's going to happen. 3y greater or equals. And then when I multiply by 3, this 3 is going to eliminate with this 3. This is going to be negative 2x plus 2 times 3 is equals to 6. Almost done. This negative 2x, I'm going to pass it to the left. So this is going to be... 3y plus 2x greater or equals than 6 or 2x plus 3y greater or equals to 6. I know this problem has several steps, but I just want to make sure that you understand that the first step is to build an equation of the line, then figure it out if to the right, um, you know, it's shade above or below. And after that, just put your answer the way the question is asking it. Thank you so much for doing an amazing job. Please don't forget to watch our other tutorials. Don't forget you can Skype with us. We can do tutoring, one-on-one, -on -one, group, anything you need. And also, thanks so much for learning.